Okay, this is James Swan and this is DSF Lab 7 4 bit multiplier. So, today we're going to be focusing on a 4 bit times 4 bit unsigned multiplier that produces an 8 bit output. So, as you can see, this is a complete schematic of a multiplier in logicism. And we're going to use 20 representative cases, including some edge cases, to test if our multiplier behaves as expected. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to poke around individual bits of x and y and see if p gives us the correct product of x times y. So 20 cases, here we go. Case 1 is 0 times 15. So 0 as expected. Case 2 is 1 times 1. 1 as expected. Case 3 is 2 times 3. So 6 as expected, case 4 is 2 times 5, so 10 as expected, and case 5 is 3 times 7, 21 as expected, and case 6 is 4 times 8. Three two as expected, and case seven is five times five. So twenty five as expected, and case um, case eight is five times six. So um thirty as expected, and case nine is six times seven. So 42 as expected, and case 10 is 7 times 8. So 56 as expected, and case 11 is 8 times 10. So on 80 as expected, and case 12 is 9 times 11. 99 as expected and case 13 is 10 times 10 100 as expected and case 14 is 11 times 2 22 as expected and case 15 is 12 times 3 So 60, 36 as expected, and case 16 is 13 times 4. Fifty two as expected, and case 17 is 14 times 5. 70 as expected, and um, case 18 is 15 times 1. So 15 as expected, and 19 is 15 times 14. So um, 210 as expected, and uh, the last case, case 20, is 15 times 15. So 225 as expected.